Welcome to Franchise Empires. Okay, well, th- that's a good segue, man, because this is like, I want to give the audience like gas, the gas business 101, right? And you're just talking okay. about your food sales, your beer sales inside your store. I mean, sure. you know, gas stations, man. It, it, are we making money off the gas here or is it, hey, the gas is just the excuse to get them onto, into our orbit and we're really making all the money inside the convenience store if we're doing our job right? You know, like w- what should a, a gas station operator be thinking going into something like okay. that? This is, uh, I'm going to give you the more complicated answer because okay. if I give you the, 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 the diluted version, everybody will just tell me I'm a liar. Okay. Because I've done this. Like I've posted yeah. this before and they go, you're crazy. Sure. So the national average, okay, California to New York, Florida to Washington is 30 cents a gallon. Okay. That is all grades combined. That is before credit card fees. And there, this is important because this is the one that a lot of guys and I go back and forth on. And so I only may make 10 cents on unleaded, but maybe I'm making 25 cents on premium profit. Is that, okay? are we talking a gallon? A gallon profit. Okay. okay. So let's say I'm making 10 cents on unleaded and 25 cents on premium, and maybe I'm making 50 cents on diesel. By the time I put all those products together and I'm selling 10% premium and or 15% premium and 70%, you know, unleaded and whatever is left over 10% diesel. I put all those together. I'm going to get around 30 cents before obviously any licensing or permitting or credit card fees. Because for me, a credit card fee is a, is not a cost of goods. It is an operating expense. There are two different um, arguments on that camp. I'm going what we use in the industry, which is the National Association of Convenience Stores. When we look at gross margin, that is before a credit card fee, because a credit card fee, it'd be just like you saying, okay, so you do franchises and and Jimmy John sells subs. And if they, if their margin is 40% on a sub, it's not, their, their margin is not after credit card fees. So then it's like, well, what other fee? Is it after lights and insurance? And I mean, then that gets me down to the true net margin. Yeah, not the gross profit on it. So as it stands right now, we're at 30 cents, which is higher than it has been. Okay. Keep in mind, it used to be uh, your parents. I don't know how old they are, probably close to my age, just from talking to you. (laughs) Um, We would drive all over town to save five cents. Well, the problem is five cents isn't anything anymore. It's like it's five cents is nothing. The only time someone wants to try to save the money is if they feel like they're like, they really feel like, you know, they've beat the system, you know, or they just have to get the best deal on everything. For me, we sell convenience. We don't, you know, gas is a product in our convenience store. We sell convenience. Amazing. Um, all right. So as I expected, gas, uh, slim margins, right? So, I mean, strategically, right? Like I look at, you know, my novice brain as far as it comes to the gas business because look there are some franchises out there uh from you know like raceway and valvoline but for the most part it's just a totally different animal so it's nothing something i haven't really focused on uh you know typically the franchises i talk about are either service brands you know like home service businesses or a lot of brick and mortar like the concepts that you could see in a strip mall um and when i think about the gas business i'm like i don't think i'd want to do this because it's a commodity. It's like de- the definition of a commodity business, right? Like what's the difference? Yeah. Like, you know, no one's got brand affinity to my uh, Sunoco versus a Valvoline versus a Texaco, you know, whatever. However, however, Wawa, Bucky's, yes. Yes. Sheets. Yes. There, there are these convenient, there's like this convenience store slash gas station war at a regional level starting to converge. Yes. And there are cult followings with these businesses. Absolutely. So.